How's it going everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, today, uh, I know we've done these in the past, but i um, sold out again on my original Xboxes. Uh, so I need to uh, get some ready to, to sell. Uh, at least, you know, one and then another one, you know, whatever. <clears throat> We're going to see if we can <clears throat> get as many of these going as possible. Uh, over at the old shop, I grabbed three of the three out of the stack. Uh, I think I kind of I grabbed three of them. Yeah, that nobody has been into, which doesn't mean anything. Just means that me or somebody else has not opened them up. So that could be a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. Could be, well, I, I probably took them in on trade, tested them, and they didn't do squat, or they just sat there with a red light on, and I threw them in the pile. Or I had enough of them at the time that uh, they didn't work, so I just set them off to the side, So and when I needed them, then I could pull them out and, and work on them. Uh, I grabbed uh, one cord and an AV cable so we can test. And I did find two original Xbox controllers. These are the smaller ones, not the, not the big big melon style one. These are the kind of the smaller ones. Uh, we only have one breakaway cord, so uh, it doesn't matter. I have a box full of brand new ones for these, but. I thought it'd be kind of nice to maybe put one together with a uh, with one at least one original controller. Uh, the original Xboxes came out in 2002, if I'm not mistaken. Eight gigabyte hard drive in them, IDE. Uh, you know they were a really really good console. Uh, they were pretty much bulletproof. Uh, I had heard here lately that people were having problems with the power supplies in these. And I have never had a problem with a power supply in them. So, but, you know, now we will. Uh, the only problem that I've always, always had with them is not reading and the tray not opening. Stuck tray. Uh, most of the time, it's just they're dirty. Uh, change your belt, clean the drive, you know, and all that, and, and you're up and running. But now, you know, we're 20 years old or so, if. And I know belts are dried out. Um, at the time when I was buying them, probably lasers were were wearing out because the the 360 had been out for quite a while. The old white boat anchor. And then they got a little better throughout their generation of the, the white ones. And then they went to the Slim 360 and then that E360 that uh, I was not a very big fan of at all. Just for the simple facts is it seemed like there at the end on the E's they were making them out of next to nothing. They were just so flimsy and crappy. But the original Xbox, these, these little guys were tanks. I really enjoy these ones. There's a ton of good games to play on the original Xbox that the 360 will not play. Now the new the 360, uh, you have to download some files and all that, but you can uh, they are somewhat backwards compatible. But there's a lot of games that uh, they do not support. So the simple fact is now that now people are getting back into the original Xboxes because they have games that they want to play. As we get older, we kind of find out that our original games that we played are a hell of a lot better. Well, not maybe not better, just uh, easier for us to understand and play <laughs> compared to the new ones. At least that's the way it is for me. I don't know about anybody else. 
But I think I've rambled on enough, and I think we will get spun around here. I'll get you over here where I'm standing, and we'll start hooking these up, testing them, and see what we have to do to get a couple, or maybe, hell, maybe even three of them going. But the way my luck's going, it'll probably be one. All right, got the TV on. Uh, got our AV cord hooked up. And we will start with this one. Why am I starting with this one? Because it was first one on top. Ooh, on off. And orange. Orange. It's trying. Powered on, off, orange, off, orange. Now it's going to try and power up. I don't know if you can see it, the button. And then you call it orange or red, whatever you want to call it. And. It won't power off. Okay. So we know that one's... Uh, we'll set that one out there. Away from us. That one I guess we'll call it uh, the red ring. I don't know if that was... You know, red's red, that's orange. Okay. Then we got this one. Powers up, but God, listen to that thing. Sounds like it's full of marbles. No video. Oh, that's oops. All right, finally got the TV on AV. I'm going to drain the residual power after I pull the cord on this, just so I can see that this one is dead now. Could that be that dreaded power supply issue that I've been hearing about? Hmm, possibly. Sure didn't sound good when it was running. Okay, so now nah, it's a dead one now. So we'll put that one in a different spot. And we have one more here. Let's see what's going on with. On off. On off. On. And there's a red. There's a red ring. Tick, tick. All right. Boy, I picked three beauties, didn't I? Okay, well this one, at least this one shuts off. Try it one more time. This one sounds like it's a hard drive's bad. That ticking you're hearing, um, I'm pretty sure is the uh, little needle on the hard drive swiping back and forth trying to locate information. Alright. 
So which one should we do first? Uh, I think I think we ought to try this one first. And tearing this one down. For the simple fact, I have I have a bunch of junk ones somewhere. I got to figure out where they're at, and then and we can replace the hard drive in this and and see if that's what the problem is with this one. All right, let's let's tear this down before we get a hard drive and make sure that's what it is. You know, have six screws. There's a screw in each corner here. Of these under the rubber feet. If you don't peel them all the way back you can you don't have to worry about gluing them back down with double sided tape or whatever you just peel them back a little bit enough to get in there you know I'm sure there's a there's one or two videos on YouTube on how to open these I got tired of cutting double-sided tape. I did one. I looked at that and I said, well, why don't you just peel it back enough that you can get your screwdriver in there and take it out that way. And then we got two of them hiding on us. And we're going to be naughty and break the warranty. Let's see, there you are. Well, looks like our warranty is void now. I guess we can't send this back to Microsoft and have it fixed for nothing. that one and there's one up here under the date sticker this one is a 2003 718 like I said these were a really good popular system it was out about the same time as the PlayStation 2 fat then they went to the slim where the original Xbox stayed in this form factor throughout its whole career. I mean, why, why screw with something that's working? Not dirty, except for the top, of course. And yes, every one of these is going to have some rust on it. So live with it. Okay. Now let's on off. On off. Flashy and then red. Not, it's not ticking anymore. Okay, let's... Unhook... our hard drive. Okay, same thing doesn't tell us that we don't have a, a hard drive or no memory installed or 
Nothing like that. Oop, that one's too big. We need that little one. Uh, okay. I took my little Torox. We're blonde. Imagine that. After you take apart a couple hundred of these things, you, you get, get pretty good at them. Taking them apart. Hard drive and carriage. Uh, let me just throw that off to the side. Okay, power supply, I got a little a few dust bunnies in it, everything else is clean, there I just turned it on, okay, oh, unplug it and that way we don't have to worry about keep turning it on all right now uh, this is one that we stole parts out of for the last batch and this one had a good hard drive in it I didn't take you out to Go rummage through the through the hoard or whatever you want to call it the, the, the garage of death the, the shed of terror whatever now we know we know this was a good hard drive there was something that one was I think had a bad drive in it, a bad DVD drive. So let's see, we don't have to worry too much about getting it the wires in place. We're gonna take it apart, take it back apart again anyway if it works. We're gonna take it back apart anyway, even if it doesn't work. Okay. Now let's see what it'll do. Nope, same thing. Starts up, quits, starts up, quits. And red ring. Uh, let's see, I never really pissed too much around with them that had the red ring. Because the simple fact is, I had so many of them. So, hmm. How about. Can't get the tray to open. Let's see, what should we do with this one? Uh, we could take that piece of crap that I just took the hard drive out of and see about putting that one together. Or we can figure out what the red ring is on the original Xbox and see if we can't fix it. I do remember that there is one thing that we need to test to check. Which could very well have happened with this sitting. Let's see, there's another good hard drive here. Let's get our
get the drive up out of here and then we can have a look and see if I'm thinking of the right thing that could be wrong. Oh, I just tore that cable. And yep, it's what I thought it was. Cable that sucker pulled right apart. All right, behave over there. Now let's. This will be repairable, but we are going to find out. Already see the heads of these screws. It should give you an indication as to what I'm looking at. And once I get this out, I'll be able to show you. Plug the fan. screws out there. Nope. One more. see this little capacitor right here is a what they we call them super capacitors or it's a it's a kind of a, a CMOS battery type it holds a charge and holds the your settings while it's plugged in and you can turn it on and you don't have to set the time in that every time you you turn it off well you can see this one has puked all over the board and it has pretty much it's okay at, right here on the corner yep right here on this corner it has started corroding through and started leaking through. Now we can take that off and clean this board and God you can see it's all the way up into here to here. I mean it this is a big area this whole corner has been yeah that's this whole corner down to about in here somewhere 
and it's all covered with corrosion. So I don't know if we're going to be able to fix this one or not. Uh, what I am going to do, what I am going to do, is I'm going to remove that capacitor. Uh, this doesn't have to be in in order for this to work. Like I said, this is just for saving data. Data? Oh, now we're on Star Trek. Uh, that's just for saving your CMOS settings. You can see how it's corroded. Uh, I'm going to remove that, and I am going to scrub the living daylights out of this with alcohol. And hopefully we might be able to get this to come back. If it doesn't come back, we're not going to go through and we're not going to replace all these components on this whole corner. I'll grab the grab that other one and we'll repair it instead of this one. So let's see. I don't think I'm going to... I won't need the desoldering station. Since we only have one little crap capacitor to take out. I pulled the guts out of it. There. Now you can see. How bad that is. Yeah, like I said, most of the time when they're when you get them like this, there's usually not a whole hell of a lot of hope left for them. You know, unless you want to sit down and. Uh, let's see, what should I do? I think I'm going to take this over. I'm going to scrub this with the vinegar. And then I'm going to wash the board and then uh, douse it with alcohol to neutralize the vinegar. Alright, <clears> that's <throat> the next day. Uh, I got a little too cold last night. So I just kind of cleaned this up and went in. Uh, looks like I still have one little area here that I need to get cleaned up. But most of it cleaned up. And I'm not going to say for sure that this is the problem. Because last night, when I, was, when I went in, I got to thinking about this. And you remember that Xbox 360 we did? That had... Yeah, I know. That's right. Bad power supply. And all it would do was turn on and shut off. Turn on and shut off. Well, isn't that what this one is doing? But well, we had to get that cleaned up anyway. Just to, because it was dirty, you know, you know, we had a lot of acid on it. I don't know if, if you want to call it acid. It, it's just when those crap capacitors crap out on you, they 
Oh, come on, TV. They get ugly and kind of puke. And it kind of plays havoc on... Alright, where you at? Plays havoc on circuit boards. Okay, so now let's... Nope. Still the same thing. On, off, on, off. And then what it's doing is it just keeps uh, trying to reboot itself. And it just does not want to... It's not happy. All right. So I think what we'll do now is we have to look a little bit further into this and I am going to kind of say that I'll bet we have a faulty one of those torques. We have a faulty power supply. I told you earlier in the video that I've that's too big. Never had a problem with these power supplies. Well, when I was doing these and, and messing with them, that was oh, about how long ago was that? Well, it's been a year, probably about five years ago. I was still still redoing these. And at that time, I never had a problem with the power supplies in these. And I had, didn't have any problems with them in the 360s either, but you see what happened. We got one in that had a bad power supply, power brick. And that power brick was doing the exact same thing as this one was doing. And that's usually the output tramp or output capacitors. And that's usually these four right here. Those are the four big ones. That one's usually doesn't have many problems, but you know, so we'll, what we're gonna do is I gotta bring over a bunch of stuff, get this cleaned up. And what do we have? Twenty two hundred ten. Is that what all three of those are? And 1016. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out these four crap capacitors and and see if we can't revive this Xbox. Uh, let me get I got to get all my crap gathered up here, get set up so we can, we can do some board work.
now we got our three caps changed. And I'll tell you, those weren't weren't the funnest to do. I had to turn my soldering station up to get the uh, get the solder to adhere. Uh, so that's kind of telling me that there might be some. Some um, electrolytic on the, on the circuit board from where those may have leaked, or I may just be full of crap. Let's get a couple of screws down in this. Plug it in without jamming everything up. Those two in, I'll back you up. That is what was going on with this. Nope. I think we may still have some corrosion issues. I was just pressing down on the video chip to the NVIDIA the video chip to see if if we had a problem with it. And not having the hard drive in the in the disk drive in it doesn't mean it will not work. It'll still work without it. Mm -mm. Still the same thing. Well, that's a bummer. Hmm. All right, let me... I am thinking... Maybe we ought to try the power supply out of that noisy one. Just for the heck of it. Oops. Yeah. Stay in there. There we go. To see if we can't pinpoint that that's what it is. Maybe I didn't get those soldered down enough and that could be my my fault all right let me let's grab the other one and we will pull the power supply out of it and we know this one works that one has a different connector on it, so we cannot use that power supply out of that one. Okay, well then, 
let me go over my work and make sure I got everything soldered down. Usually it is the, the output capacitors. That's what those four are. are your Alright, let me take a peek at this and we'll see if I have a problem where I didn't get, get them soldered down. Oh, looks good. But looking and being is two different things. Yep, that terminal right there. Doesn't look like it's soldered down real good. Wiggling the capacitors to see if let me see if I see any movement on the pin. And if I see any movement on the pin, then I know I'm not not soldered down good. I said that circuit board was kind of Now let's see what happens. Nope, same thing. And I'm wondering if our circuit board has a little bit more damage on it than what I thought. I'd like to scrounge up another power supply so I could try another one out in this just to, to make sure. Uh, let me, I have one other one that I was using for parts. Uh, let me see what I can come up with with it. Alright, what I did <clears throat> was I went and hunted up another Xbox with the same power supply in it. And what I want to do you can see this one works. Should give us an error message. Yeah, because there's no hard drive in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. What I wanted to do is show you that, that that power supply works in that one. And it's the same as what's in, our, our, in the one that we are working on. And what I want to do is swap these out to see if it confirms that it is our hard drive, or not our hard drive, our power supply, and not the board. It got 
cruddy that got chewed up. There's only two screws that hold those down. Now that one that I took the power supply out of I know has a bad drive in it. Because I had taken that one apart before and worked on it. And couldn't get the drive working. So, I do know that that one does work. Just that it has a bad drive. takes a couple of minutes to, to change this out and check. I just want to confirm if it is our power supply then we'll look into it a little bit further as to what what's going on with that power supply. If it does the same thing then we know that we have a board problem on this one. And at this point in time I don't think there's any real reason for me to work on a board on these because I have so many of them. But I, I am curious. I am curious about whether or not I can fix these with a, a power supply by rebuilding a power supply. And see now that power supply doesn't even boot in here. There, everything's hooked up. There, pull our cord out and back in. Let's check our pin. Mm-hmm. The pin pin out on this power supply is different than this one. That one will plug in but it won't power up. Hmm. All right. It's, uh, looks like we're still dead in the water on this one. I thought we were going <clears> to <throat> find something out. But, evidently, not. You know, I know this one is a little bit different. Because, see, our, we only have two out caps instead of three and we have a MCR SCR on this one okay let's see we have XO13 six one zero zero one and this is an XO one two nine two dash zero zero eight okay so we do have two different power supplies <sighs> fun so we're still down to not knowing whether we still have a problem in our power supply or if we ha actually have a board problem. Because even after rebuilding
Okay, wait a minute. All right, folks, uh, what I have done is just to kind of make sure that it wasn't the, the capacitors that I put in, the new ones, I swapped out and put new ones in again. Only this time, I would just put one in, put it back in and test it, change another one, put it back in and test it, and change the last one and put it back in and test it, and we still have the same thing. Now I can make this thing go into protect mode as far as uh, no video because I took my uh, hot air gun and heated up the Navidity chip just to be sure, you know, to see if uh, it would it would come on because uh, we had some crud or something under that from the board from that uh, crap pass that are puking all over the board. Um, I did get my orange light. The orange light, when this flashes orange, it means that uh, that there's a problem with the video. Well, I heated that up, and yeah, I overheated it, and it went to orange. But now we still we still have the boot uh, boot loop, where it boots, turns off, boot, turn off, boot, turn off, and then we get the red red ring. Uh, I checked my voltages which uh, seem a little low to me uh, these are three point like 3.4 3.8 and we do have our 12 which is 11 9 uh, I checked another capa uh, another power supply in one of the other ones and I had 4.9 on all of them except for the 12 we had our 11 9 <clears throat> so I'm still thinking that it's in the power supply that we're just not producing enough power with this to uh, run the, the board properly. That's why I changed out the capacitors again one at a time to see if I had one new one that was bad. But I checked my voltages and we're still at the same. So where there's a problem in this power supply somewhere and I am not positive where to even start looking on it. Uh, for our 5 volts. Our orange and our red are our 5 volts and yellow is our 12. But that's where I'm at on this one. And I think we're going to have to call this one because it's I've spent enough time on it for what little bit I do get for them. So we're going to have to call this one as a fail. Uh, at least until I find another working Xbox with this style of power supply in it, I can swap it out and see if it does boot it up. If it does, then we do know that there is something else faulty in this power supply. But that's where I'm at, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Or it could be that there is such a draw on it from all the corrosion that was on this board up in this area from that crap capacitor that it that the crap just got in and ate up too much in here and it's just not letting it work could be may not be but that's what I'm going with but in my mind I'm still th saying and thinking that it's this power supply and hopefully I run across another one. I have stacks of these uh, to go through. And if I find a good one with that style of power supply, it has to be this one with the dash 001 power supply in it in order to boot that board. Because then it's the pin out on our connector. So I'm going to call it. 
it's a fail for now <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you I know we didn't fix nothing this time but we sure got in kind of deep on this one just to see if we couldn't get it going and like I said I'm still not going to give up on it so I hope to see you on the next one where we'll have a little better luck with another one until then, see ya.